Never. Yeah, so he says, UFC's chief business officer, Hunter Campbell, has just informed all fighters that, effective immediately, fighters who choose to continue to be coached by James Krause or continue to train in his gym will not be permitted to participate in UFC events. So, Toasty, cross that one off the list. You can't join this dude wherever wherever he's at. <laughs> Dang. Gosh darn it. <laughs> The, the big question I have about all of this, about this specific situation, is what are they going to do about Moreno versus Figgy? Because mm. Brandon just started going over there and training. Are they mm. really going to clear, uh, what, the fourth fight for these people? Man, I, I, I think if you're Moreno, you just jump jump ship, right? It's a single oh, yeah, ship he's got now. The money too. He's got the money. He'll go somewhere else. He's already in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, maybe you go to uh, you know Couture. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe he goes back to TJ just to train. Yeah. Um, but this is crazy. He's got right? because 34 been... pro fights, pro fighters wow. at, from that gym. So there's a lot of scrambling that's going to have to do. Did you guys so, mention what he did? Like, <laughs> to, well, he, for people like me. Campbell. Oh, there was okay. a Derek Minner, right? There was a fight that we covered a few weeks back, Rich. Uh, you were probably playing Nintendo Switch in the black background while uh, Will and I were uh, talking about the fight. But – it was a very weird fight because he goes into the first round. The very first kick he throws, he steps back and starts holding his knee. The other guy rushes mm. in. Minner comes back in with the exact same knee and kicks the exact same knee, and then he falls back in massive pain, fights over. What's really weird about that, though, is that they took a look at Vegas bet lines, and right before the fight started, bets started skyrocketing for Derek Minner's opponent like hours before the uh, fight started. So... The word is, okay, maybe Derek Minner knew he had this injury before he went in there. James Krause knew he had this injury before he went in there. They knew that this was going to end in this fashion. So maybe James Krause put word out there for a lot of people that, hey, bet the house on Derek Minner's opponent because you're going to make a lot of money. Right. So and another caveat to that, that is he was on Ariel's show, I think, two or three weeks before that. <laughs> yeah, this and is the best part. he had openly admitted – that he makes more money betting on fights than he does coaching or cornering. Yes. Wow. And uh, Ariel Hawani asked him, do you bet on your own fighters and your fights? And he goes, yes. So w this leads me to believe that after the investigation, what the investigation has been uh, or on the investigation has been done so far, Nevada has enough information to say, well, we're suspending – his license. We're suspending James Krause's license, right? Canada has now said, hey, we're banning betting on, on mixed martial arts. Well, and I'm after tired. all this happened, after all this happened, then UFC is like, oh, we got to do something about this. Um, yeah, hey, don't train with uh, James Krause anymore. Anybody that trains with James Krause, <laughs> uh, you're not going to fight with us. So it's just James Krause, in my mind, He's is so one of the too. best coaches – in the UFC, man, one of the best coaches, he's able to get so much out of his fighters, you know, and uh, I don't think that he's fixing fights. I don't think that at all. Correct. But what I do think is that he has some of this inside information, which he leveraged to make extra money like he did yep. in this last fight, uh, which is also. Up. Yep. <laughs> yes. Which can also be a, a big, uh, a big no, no. Right. Um, so we'll see what happens with James Krause. It's unfortunate uh, for me. UFC is losing one of the, the best coaches that they have. These fighters are losing an excellent coach. And for any of these fighters that live in that area, in the Kansas uh, City area, uh, now have to go find a new home. Yeah, it really sucks for the lower end ones that like don't have the money or live in that exact area. And that's their only option. Yeah. Only so what do you option. do, right? Like, do you continue fighting there and fighting in smaller organizations or lower organizations because, uh, you know, you don't know if you'll make it to the UFC or not. But if you're also like, let's say that you're in the at the cusp and you're like, yeah, I think I'm right there and I could probably make it. At that point, you have to, right? Tosi, you have to jump ship? I think the easiest option and the way to, like, sort of just skirt this sort of bureaucracy that's happening is you just list, like, your garage or something like that as your gym. Mm. Like you just list somewhere else and you don't bring Krauss to the fights. Cause mm. I mean, what are they going to do? Send someone to watch you train, not at glory. Yeah. That, that I mean, good. it's not a good answer, but that is an answer. 
I mean, very similar to like COVID when it was banned in certain cities and you couldn't train right and people were still training out of the garage or something else. You're right. Um, also, I found out that he has uh, a Discord. And I'm actually really sad that I hadn't joined his Discord before that because I probably would have bet on uh, <laughs> Garrick Minner's opponent myself. <laughs> hey, HLB Cobra, shout out. He says, hello, beautiful people. Krause is a big drama show. Yes, in the words of, uh, of uh, who is that boxer? Triple G, right? Big drama show. He was also involved in the Megan Sanko drama. He was walking around with a Richard uh, Mill watch. I remember wondering where Megan. he's getting all that money from. Uh, Megan Anderson, yes. Um, I'm and DL coming through says, I'm wondering if Krauss will ever take any responsibility. Uh, man, at a certain point, right? Like, it, I'm with you, HLB Comer, like, because he talks about all his real estate investments. He talks about all the uh, stock investments he made. And I was like, man, he must have must have made a lot of money off Tough. No, wait, they don't really get paid for that. He must have made a lot of money off his fights. Wait, no, I think he was still like 25, 25. I don't know. And like he said, his coaching, the only like champion that he has right now is Brandon Moreno. And that was the first champion that they've had. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. And, oh, DL saying his Discord and YouTube are gone. Too late for me. Too late. No more inside info for me. What am I going to do? Hey, but you know what? Without James Krause, I still went 12 and 14 last night, Toasty. I'm hanging my uh, my hat on that. You know, I'm super proud of that. Uh, and we're not going to talk about mine. <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to. Hey, everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description. And it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.